What's up, guys? It's Jay here, back with another video, and today we're talking about a bit of an informational video. So, uh, cool. So, uh, let me quickly move the camera angle real quick. Better angle, because now I can show you what I want. Because I was originally using this as a camera stand. So, we have a new set. So I know I say this a lot. I know I say this a lot. I'm gonna buy this with the money. I'm gonna buy this with the money. I'm gonna buy this. With the this is set in stone. I promise you guys, a hundred percent. I know I keep saying it, but a hundred percent, this is actually promised. So. Uh, there is an Arkham Asylum set that I have been dying to get since when it very first came out. It was a third party set. So you might be thinking, oh, Jay, talking about the, you know, it's probably the 2006 Arkham Asylum or, you know, the 2012 Arkham Asylum. No, I don't want any of those asylums. The 2006 one, granted, is a very good asylum. I really love that asylum. I think it's very close to my heart because, you know, it's the day I was born when that was made. And, um, yeah, so I, I do have a lot of nostalgia for those ones. But. I mean, they just don't live up to the Arkham Asylum building that I've always wanted. I've always wanted, like, you know, a big building, like, this big. Like, where you could open it up and you could see all of the rooms. You could put all the minifigures in different places and it'd be, like, a full-on modular building. Never got that. So, of course, the best place you go for is a third-party seller, right? So, I looked on some different websites when I was younger. Trying to find some. I think this was, like, probably about 10, 12. When I was trying to find an Arkham Asylum proper building. And I found one on a website. Uh, I can't remember what it's called now. But, uh... Uh, it's since gone out of stock on that website because of course remember this was like probably like three or four years ago but uh, it was £285 and it was the version 1 so of course it didn't come with like you know like the mod like what modules come with now they've got like roads with like tiled off bit like paths and stuff like that this one is bigger better and cheaper if you can believe that so on Amazon right now they're selling for £225 I think so uh, I'm going to show you pictures I'm going to show you the pictures of them right now so you guys can see what they look like Okay, so that's what the Arkham Sign looks like. As I said, it looks really good for 225 I think it's 225 I don't know. Let me close that. And, uh, yeah. So, that is the set I'm going to be buying. And as you can see, it folds out. It's got all the different rooms. You've got, like, I think, 10 plus cells. Plus Poison Ivy's separate cell, which is really cool. The original one did have a Mr. Free separate cell, which I thought was really cool. But, you know, this one doesn't have one. Alas, you know, I'm going to have to put him in a normal cell. But he probably would be put in a normal cell anyway. I can maybe just make it a bit bluer. You know, add some little stuff to it. So, uh, you might be thinking, Jay, well... Killer Croc, was in, Killer Croc was a big part of that, like, game uh, of Arkham Asylum. And, you know, as I, as I, I just said it, I'm trying to base this Arkham Asylum off of the game Arkham Asylum Batman. Uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, the video game. So, of course, I'm going to have all the characters that are in that game and more in that Arkham Asylum modular. So, of course, you'll be thinking, well, Jay, how are you going to get Killer Croc in there? I'm going to have to make a sewer. So, me and Connor are actually thinking right now of making a sewer block, like, mock to go underneath the Arkham Asylum. It's going to look amazing. So, uh, yeah. So I wanted to quickly show through. So, of course, you have to buy some minifigures to fill in this behemoth of a set. So, as you say, I've got my lovely shell box. I've got it on holiday. Very cool, actually. And uh, let's open this baby up. So this has got a few of the minifigures I've already got. And I've got a few, few surprises for you guys coming soon. So just be ready for that. So, let's open up our shell box. Move over to here so we can see. So first we've got Bane. Very cool minifigure. This is from the Batman uh, movie sets. But I actually super glued this on, and it's like a vine piece, which makes it look a lot more better, I think. And this is actually supposed to be on it as well. You just clip this on here, and then just kind of whoop, down there, so it looks a bit more better. So we've got Bane. We've got my custom made, this does look a bit tacky, but my custom made bat symbol. So you've got that with a tie around it, so that looks fine. And then you've got that bit. So it does actually move though, which is really cool. That's cool. We have a Joker henchman, so I just used like a sad Joker face and then an actual Joker 2012, I think it was, Batwing Joker henchman figure. Very cool. Very nice mini figure. We have Red Hood, which I used a uh, Ferrari, the Ferrari character. It comes with a Ferrari jacket, and I just used like the Red Hood from the CMF mini figure like face. So I think that looks really cool. We do have the Clock King. He's not in the game. I don't know if I'm going to put him in there. Probably not. But uh, it's just a you know decision that I might make. Put him in there. So we've got the game Riddler, and of course the game Riddler is all green with a hat. So of course, of course, I had to buy the Riddler from the movie. It's the only Riddler I had from this movie. The only Riddler I had. So I had to improvise, and I made this Riddler. So I added some Mandarin legs, and of course his actual 
hat and it's a normal generic face. I think it looks really cool. And uh, yeah, that's my Riddler. So Harley Quinn's quite a difficult one because of course she has many costumes in the games. So I want to, Harley Quinn's one of my favorite female characters in DC. So I gave her two costumes. She's very lucky I gave her two costumes. So I gave her a nearly OG costume. I've got the OG one at home, but it's really loose with the joints and stuff like that. So it looks really weird. But uh, we've got her nearly OG costume, which is like, of course, the black and red one. So we've got the Jester outfit there. And then of course got the helmet from the original one. So from the original 2000, and I think it was the Batman Dark Knight film character, like box art one. And we've got this one, which is of course the nurse outfit you see in the, um, what's it called? You see it in the Arkham Asylum game. I'm gonna paint this uh, blonde with nail varnish. Nail varnish works really well on Lego minifigures. So uh, yeah. And then of course we have penguin. So I use this. I actually combined two penguins. I combined the Lego Movie Batman, Lego Batman Movie penguin, and the normal penguin. So you can see parts from the Lego Batman movie, which is the torso, the arms, and this neck piece. And then the hat and the face are from normal penguin. Which makes them look so much better, I think. Then of course we have Mr. Freeze. Again, this is going to be another uh, nail varnish painted character. So we're going to be painting this with blue or maybe a grey. Probably a grey. Very cool. And then we also have, speaking of Freeze, we also have, I don't know why I did this, but I just thought it looked better because of course they're not going to let him have his whole suit in there. So we've got this Freeze as well. Who's more of like a uh, kind of, you know, more of like a kind of degraded freeze so we're going on to hugo strange this is a custom that i made i can definitely buy the hugo strange figure but i don't really want to so i made my own with a harry potter face and then i actually did buy the hugo strange beard second hand off of bricklink so that was only like 30 i think it was like probably like one pound and then of course i just got this mad scientist torso looks a bit weird i know but uh you know it works definitely works so it's pretty cool. We've got Happy Hugo. Happy Hugo. Uh, then we've got Joker. So Joker actually does look very weird, but its hair definitely matches the game version more than the comic book version, I think. So this is definitely more of the game version hair, 100%. Like, it just looks so much more like the game version with like that sort of big fraily bit up the top. So, uh, yeah, we're using that Joker hair. Then we move on to Robin. This is one of my favourite Robins. I love Jason Todd's Robin, so I had to include Jason Todd's suit. Robin's suit. Right? People call it Tim Drake's. It's not. Jason Todd's originally get 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 a life. Uh, here we can see Jason Todd's suit with a new hair piece I added as well. And I also made this custom cape, which is uh, yellow on that side and then black on this side. That's just super glued up, pretty much. Speaking of the Bat Family, we've also got Barbara, Batgirl. Pretty cool minifigure. I like that one a lot. And then uh, more Rogues Gallery. We did have a Bat Dog. I'm probably going to include this actually in there. I made him with Scooby Doo. Scooby Doo is one of my favourite dogs in any cartoon, so I thought I'd give him a Scooby Doo bat dog kind of looking thing. We also have a custom Ivy, so I, I actually bought the body for Ivy, but I thought I could change the hair up a bit more because I really like the hair from the Barbara Gordons in the CMF Lego Batman movie CMF series. So I used her hair piece there. I think it looks pretty cool. So uh, yeah, I like that. Next we have Bruce Wayne from the Lego Batman, no, from the Batman set, the face print from Batman set, from the Batman Batcave set, the new one. Uh, and the bod the torso I think is from a random suited person and then of course we've got a normal Bruce Wayne hair piece because of course it makes him look like another one from the games with the black hair with slick back so it looks pretty cool very cool uh, next minifigure we have is a, just a random police officer I like to call this one Officer Balls because this is what he is in the Arkham games but he dies so you know we've got him and then we've got Man Bat. So Man Bat, it's not, this isn't actually Man Bat. Uh, I will be getting Man Bat soon. I don't know yet. But uh, for now, I'm going to have to paint these wings. I just, I just want to make a little kind of rough Man Bat to put the wings on so I don't lose them. This is the Man Bat figure I've got them on right now. But I hate, 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 hate how the wings are on the arms. I think that is trashy of Lego. I feel like they could have made this. I feel like they could have made a separate piece altogether. And it would have been so much better. So, um... I made myself a separate piece. As you can see, I just literally used the back plate, two of these, and you can move the wings, you can flap them. You know, it looks so much better, I think. Well, a lot more wings, and you can also use the arms. So, who doesn't want to use the arms of Man Bat? So, I'm going to definitely be buying the original Batman, Man Bat minifigure and then just replacing this minifigure with the Man Bat and then painting these brown with nail varnish. Get nail varnish coming in clutch. 
Um, and then we have Commissioner Gordon, who's just from the Batman CMF. I think this one looks really cool. I think this one looks really cool. You know, it just looks a lot more like the, you know, the game one. Uh, then we've got some Justice League characters. I'm not going to put these in here, but I might. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. So we've got Wonder Woman, but I changed her and put a tiara on the, from the original ones. This is from the like, Batman vs Superman Wonder Woman. But then I just changed her and put the normal tiara on her and gave her a shield and sword. We've got the Flash, new P-52 suit. Probably one of my favourite Justice League characters. Very cool. We have Green Lantern, who I actually used... So Green Lantern comes with, this is Bruce Wayne's hairpiece from that um, Batcave set. And we've also got Robin's face. I think it just watch, matches so perfectly because he's got that smile. Kind of kitty, kind of smirky kind of smile on there. Which I just think is so Green Lantern. Because, you know, he's quite jokey, kind of like, like the Flash. So, yeah, that's our Green Lantern. Hal Jordan version. Oh, yeah, we also got Catwoman. So Catwoman is literally from the Batman Batcave set from the new movie. But I just added her original 2006 to 2012. I think uh mask on so you know, it's much better uh then we also have superman this is of course is justice league Batman vs superman and man of steel suit very cool we have this is probably one of the worst customs i made but uh you know uh, we have hawkman i guess it's cool but it doesn't look anything like Hawkman. i know i had to use thor's help face because i just thought why not and the last character we've got here is, of course, the main man himself, the Arkham Asylum Batman. I thought this one looks the most about him, you know, the black shoes and the, the pointy ears and then, like, the kind of printing there. I just think this one looks most like him and I think it looks really cool. Oh, of course, I'm using the glow-in-the-dark headpiece. I use this for all my favourite Batman, Batman. So, uh, you know, that one looks so much better, I think. And, yeah, so the only things we've got to get now is Scarecrow, uh, Killer Croc, and... Kill him off. And man bat. So those are the only things we are on Two Face. I think I said that. Did I say that? Two Face, Man Bat, Killer Croc, Kill him off. And Gimme a second. So Two Face, Man Bat, Killer Croc, Kill him off, and Scarecrow. There you go. These are the things we have to get so far to complete the whole entire Arkham Asylum set. And then we've got to get the Arkham Asylum set, which will probably be coming, you know, probably next year. So, um, yeah, so unfortunately, here comes the bad news. End of the video, the bad news. So, let me close this, because it's very sad times. So, uh, of course, with this big purchase, this means I cannot get the suits. Which means no third iteration of Batman versus Spider-Man coming this year. It will be coming late next year, probably. I know, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. But, you know, we had to move some stuff around, think what's more important, the content-wise. And, you know, it just felt like the Lego thing's a bit more important than, you know, the costumes. It'll probably get, like, 20 views. It's probably, like, you know, maybe around the, t like, you know, 30 to 40 view mark if we review this set. So, um, yeah, so I'm sorry, guys. But, like I said, it will be postponed until next year. And that means the Star Wars one will be probably postponed probably 2023. It's bad, I know. No, 2024. I know it's bad, but, um... But I thought, actually, I think like we could probably do 2022, 2023, birthday, so April kind of time for the start for the Batman one, then we could do Christmas for the uh, Star Wars one. So actually, yeah, we'll probably be able to do both of them in 2023. So make sure to keep an eye on 2023. Just, I'm very sorry about the postponement. It's just, you know, it had to happen because, you know, we've got more important stuff to be doing, more stuff important stuff to be paying for us, you know. We have to, I have to pay for this all out of my own pocket. I don't get sponsored, I don't get paid for these videos yet. So, you know, this is all coming out of my own pocket, so I have to make sure I can balance the money between different things. But, good news. So, if you, don't, you guys didn't see my last short video, of course, we have to always end that off on a high note. So, if you guys didn't see my last short video, Buzz Lightyear is on his way. I know. So, Buzz's Epic Adventures will be coming soon. And you guys, I want to give you a little sneak peek. So, you know what? I'm going to run the intro right now. Let's run the intro. Intro. Anyway. <laughs> Friend in me. That's the intro to Buzz's Epic Adventures. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. A little sneak peek of what's to come. 
It's going to be in the start of every single video of Buzz's Epic, epic Adventures, obviously. And uh, it's pretty much going to be like Baboon, but with Buzz. And I, I unfortunately, yes, I will have to move him with my hands. You know, like hands, or I might just do stop motion. But uh, it won't be like, you know, really detailed stop motion like, like this. It won't be like, you know, like that. It'll be probably like blocky like that. Like that kind of thing. So I don't want to be spending like, you know, two days doing one video. It's not feasible for me. You know, I like getting content out quickly for you guys, you know, just pushing it out. Uh, make sure, of course, I still put effort into my videos, but of course, I want to make sure I get quick content out for you guys as well. So some videos aren't as good as others, but then other videos are good, better than others. So, yeah. That's it for the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. That's the intro to Buzz's Epic Adventures. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. A little sneak peek of what's to come. It's going to be in the start of every single video of Buzz's Epic, epic Adventures, obviously. And uh, it's pretty much going to be like Baboon, but with Buzz. And I, I unfortunately, yes, I will have to move him with my hands. You know, like hands. Or I might just do stop motion. But uh, it won't be like, you know, really detailed stop motion like, like this. It won't be like, you know, like that. It'll be probably like blocky like that. Like that kind of thing. So I don't want to be spending like, you know, two days doing one video. It's not feasible for me. You know, I like getting content out quickly for you guys. You know, just pushing it out. Uh, make sure, of course, I still put effort into my videos, but of course, I want to make sure I get quick content out for you guys as well. So some videos aren't as good as others, but then other videos are good, better than others. So, yeah. That's it for the end of today's video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.